Hello everyone, here's Paula Mahaji. We are live at VTech Day, uh, Retail Retail first event in Latin America. And I have our top retail influencer, the Brazilian of Argentino, who is our first influencer dominated in Latin America. Hopefully not the only one for the next year. Absolutely, proud and honored to be the first. Let's look for the others who will find us. What is so particular about retail in We've been uh, challenged by a, 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 a pretty tough short-term economic landscape and environment. We have the highest global retail rates at this point, and uh, retailers expected them to be lower since the beginning of the year, which would have made the, the year much easier. In spite of that, I, I would say that the learnings from the pandemic uh, changed companies for the best, and uh, we are all more now more digitally empowered. Companies are really trying to shift from product and operations driven business models to our more customer centric data driven businesses. Technology is now a key component of every retail uh, organization. I'm from Brazil. Uh, we've never had too much stability when it comes to interest rates, uh, politically, economically. Latin America in general, uh, just like my state. So I, I assume the retailers need to be more resilient here than anywhere else. Absolutely. I, I think uh, uh, companies are not scared because we are used to deal with instability and constant changes in the environment. Everyone expected a, a better year. And, uh, and there are big differences across segments and categories. If you take hard lines, everything that is driven by uh, uh, credit has been much more affected than soft lines and discretionary consumption or even for uh, basic items. So uh, if you take food, drugs uh, and cosmetics, uh, they're doing pretty well. Soft lines uh, have uh, low comp sales, so it's uh, the, the numbers are still good, but they, they could be better. How about groceries? And grocery started the year pretty good. First quarter was good. Now the income level and the interest rates are, are affecting demand. But they are resilient. I mean, grocery is always, always resilient. In grocery, we had a major transformation, structural transformation in our market, because the cash and carry business is now the most important format. And it takes between 40, 45% of the grocery retail business in Brazil. So it completely transformed the landscape and the, and the way companies serve customers. So now you have a focus on cash and carry, or sta staples and for uh, low frequency purchases as opposed to convenience, proximity, fresh, for the more frequent purchases. And, uh, and of course, digital, because this was a sector very, very little penetrated by digital sales. And with the pandemic, as some companies are, they have now double digit sales being transacted through, through digital platforms. And one of the things you do with the Brazilian retailers is to take them around the world and learn from other countries as well. And I know they're taking everybody to China this Yes, we are going back to China after four years to rediscover China because uh, China has been ahead of the world in terms of digital transformation and the way the business models have been uh, reinvented, not only for the retail business, but credit payment systems and um, everything that involves uh, technology, data and ecosystems, business models uh, is definitely being led by China. So the way, and uh, this is a, an amazing event, and hopefully we'll have more international attendees discovering uh, the innovation. I interviewed one America. from India today, which is exciting. So this show is and and, and, and one time. important thing, that I think uh, VTAX Day is uh, it's really uh, 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 an expression of this. Is there is an incredibly rich uh, startups and innovation ecosystem in Brazil. We have so many smart companies now and, and, and startups. We founded a venture capital uh, a fund uh, that focuses on retail tax, Brazilian retail tax. We already analyzed over 700 startups. There are amazing things uh, happening in Brazil. So I, I really encourage retailers from the world to come here and, and, and also know the Brazilian innovation think, ecosystem. I think VTEX was a good, a good company to, to show to the technologies that have been and the open platform enables retailers to connect with also other service providers and, and really build an ecosystem. Thank you so much, Alberto. My See pleasure. You.